As we all know, Central Florida has become one of the hottest markets to move into in the entire United States. In today's video, we're gonna be stepping inside of one of Central Florida's newest communities that's also gonna be a guaranteed good investment. Let's begin, my friends. For anybody new to this channel, my name is Renzo Montiuti and I'm a real estate agent here in the Central Florida area. My big mission for this channel and for the people watching is to always show you guys what are the great opportunities here in Central Florida. So if you are a returning viewer, I typically tend to be in Ocala, Florida because there's so much opportunity. But today I found something absolutely incredible that I must share with everybody because this is gonna be an amazing investment if anyone is looking to move to Central Florida. Today we are here in a brand new community by Pulte Homes and this is gonna have about three to 400 homes in this entire community. As you can see behind me to the left, to the right, we have a bunch of homes that are currently being built and this is gonna be an absolutely incredible community with tons of amenities, tons of walking trails, and tons of nearby activities that are gonna be very fun for you and the family. Now, today we're gonna be stepping inside of the Ashby model. This is gonna boast three bedrooms, one flex room, two and a half bathroom, a two car garage, and also right under 2,300 square feet. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be going over the finances, what a down payment looks like, what the closing costs are, what the builder incentives are, what the yearly tax amount is, and what it would look like for you guys if you were interested in something like this or even somewhere else, what the finances really look like when you wanna get into the home. This is gonna be valuable information that isn't gonna be just if you wanna move here, but anywhere out of the state. Now, just to give you a perspective on where this community is located, we're here in St. Cloud, Florida, one of the hottest areas that has been growing over the past four to five years. We're very close to Lake Nona, Florida, a very high-end area in Southeast Orlando that has turned into an absolutely luxury area. We're only about 30 minutes from Lake Nona. You're gonna have Boxy Park, a VA medical center, one of the best in the entire nation. We're also gonna have a bunch of different lakes, Lake Nona Park, and many different amenities. A little bit closer to here, we're gonna have places like Lakeside Park, we're also gonna have all our commercial centers within 10 to 15 minutes of this community, your Publix, your Walmart, your Home Depots, your Chipotle, McDonald's, all the daily essentials are only gonna be 10 to 15 minutes away from here. Now, other important things to know is that Orlando International Airport is only 34 minutes away. Downtown Orlando is only 42 minutes away. And we're also gonna have the East Coast beaches, Cocoa Beach, Daytona, are gonna be about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes away from this community. So we are located to many different luxurious areas, the beaches, and an absolutely incredible atmosphere to live in. Now, like I mentioned at the end of the video, we'll be talking about all of the finances. So make sure to stay till the end to get all of that valuable information. And we will also be giving you guys the price and literally everything I have to offer. Transparency is what I thrive on and make sure you have all the information you need to make a good decision. With that being said, we're gonna step inside. Before we do so, just wanna invite you to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you have, you're up to date on all the new content coming out here in the Central Florida area, my friends. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful model. Come on. Now this specific model that we're stepping into is called the Ashby. Now this is a corner lot and there are many corner lots available in this community. So this is gonna give you a very good perspective of what it looks like, feels like, and what it would really be like. So this elevation is beautiful because one, you're gonna have a lot of windows facing the front of the home. It's gonna bring in tons of natural light into the house. And right now we're stepping all, we're stepping around and we're gonna go into the home through the two car garage. 
Now this home that we are looking at is gonna be three bed with a flex, two and a half bath, and a two car garage. But there are options to have four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a three car garage if you wish. Now let's step inside. Now stepping into the home, the first thing we're gonna notice is we're gonna have this luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout the main areas of the house. This is an upgrade, but just shows you some of the quality uh, materials that they have here at Pulte Homes. Right to the left-hand side from the garage, we're gonna have the laundry room. This is where you're gonna be able to set, out, set up your tub, your washer, dryer, and cabinet space above. So instead of just having the rack, you're gonna have some nice space above to put all your laundry detergent and all that good stuff. Right over here, you're gonna have your pantry located right next to the kitchen. And speaking about the kitchen, we, here we are. One of the amazing things that Pulte Homes has to offer is just they really emphasize on making sure it's an open floor plan with the people in the kitchen being able to connect with the people in the living room. Here we're gonna have a beautiful long island in the kitchen with the farmhouse sink. Over here we're gonna have the built-in oven and microwave. Beautiful wood cabinetry with the soft clothes. Amazing light fixtures hanging above the island. And all in all, this is something, these type of homes and this model just shows the type of emphasis they give on the kitchen. Now, stepping out of the kitchen, we're going straight into the living space, I would say. Here, they decided to put the dining room table where you can fit six, eight, 10 people in this beautiful space right here. And then coming on this way, we're gonna have our essential living room in the open floor plan. The way they set it up is amazing because one, everything is connected. Two, it makes it very clear where everything goes. So you're gonna be able to set up your nice couch, television, watch the game, have a good time, and really spend some quality time with the family. Above of this living space, we're gonna have the, the layered tray ceilings with the wood panels above, beautiful fan and light fixtures in both sides of the, of the space, and this is it. Now let's go ahead and step into the front, by the front door of the home. And here we're gonna find the very first flex room. This is a flex room that can be converted into a bedroom. The only thing required to change it from flex to a full bedroom is one, you need to have doors, which we have double doors right here. And two, you need a closet space. So all you need is to set up a little bit of drywall right here, put the top on, and then you have a closet, you officially have a bedroom, you can have an appraiser come out, check the, check the space, and convert it in the public record to a four bedroom home. Now, Pulte has the option if you already wanted to do it right away, which is what I would recommend if you wanted this as a bedroom. This is gonna be a beautiful space. In this flex room, you're gonna have two double windows overlooking the north side of the property so you can see the front yard, you can also see the corner, and a good view of the community. This is perfect if maybe you're looking to work from home. These days, it's, very, it's become very normalized to be in a virtual office. This could also be a library, meditation room, spiritual space, or really just a place to close your eyes and relax and get away from the day to day. Now we're gonna step out and take a right, right into the half bathroom. This half bathroom is gonna switch over from the LVP to the scattered tile flooring. You're gonna have the nice sink, toilet, mirror, light fixtures, all of the above. Now we're gonna step right through the living space one more time, and we're gonna go into the master bedroom. This master is gonna boast some really cozy carpet. You can get it upgraded to have tile or LVP or whatever kind of flooring you want into the master. And here right now you're gonna have the cozy carpet, light fixture, double, double windows right over here that you're gonna be able to, this is gonna be facing the south side of the home, the backyard. The dimension of this specific room is gonna be 18 by 13. So it's a little bit longer than wider, um, but this is a really good space. Just to give you a perspective, this is a king size bed right here. So you're gonna have plenty of walking space in between the bed and the wall. You can set up your drawers, you can set up your TV, all of the above. And what I really like is that they actually implemented a nice mirror. I don't think it's coming with the house, but this is actually a really cool idea. You can look at yourself in the face, get ready for the day and get started. So stepping into the master bathroom, we're gonna also be transitioning from the carpet to the scattered tile flooring. Nice double vanity with the quartz countertop, beautiful white cabinets with the soft clothes and you're gonna have this beautiful long mirror that's gonna give you plenty of space to just get organized in the morning. 
Same light fixtures as the half bathroom. And what I really, really like is this backsplash that they put in the walk-in shower. Here you're gonna have the doorless walk-in shower with windows overlooking into the bathroom. You're also gonna have the skylight right above there. So you are gonna even be getting natural light when you're taking the shower. Right here, you're gonna have two doors. This way is gonna be going into the toilet. This way is gonna be stepping you into the linen closet. Now, one of the most important things for a master or primary bedroom is gonna be the closet. And I, there's so many people who have asked, hey, just I wish that that closet was a little bit bigger. But today, my friends, we're gonna be seeing a very large and ample closet. Here, you're gonna have plenty of space. This looks almost like eight by six feet right here. And then you're gonna have an additional space back here just to give you a little bit more room to hang your clothes, shoes, etc. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the last two bedrooms of this house. Now, stepping into this room, we're gonna have a 12 by 11 foot room, plenty of space to put a queen, even a king size bed. If, if this is gonna be for your child, family member, whoever it is, someone visiting your home, a queen size bed would be absolutely perfect for this room, gives you plenty of other space to, to work with as well. Over here, you're gonna have the sliding closet doors, and this room is also gonna boast a glass window overlooking the south side of the home, just like the primary bedroom. If you follow me over here, we're, we are going to have, in between the two bedrooms, another full bathroom. This is gonna boast the same quartz countertop, beautiful cabinet space below, scattered tiles. Instead of having the walk-in shower, you're gonna have the bathtub with a slightly different subway backsplash as the primary bathroom. Stepping into the very last room, this one is gonna be slightly bigger, 13 by 11 feet. We're gonna have the same closet doors. This, this room is gonna be on the east side of the home, so it's gonna be looking out to the right side where also the garage is located. You're gonna have the cozy carpet, nice LED built-in lights. This light fixture is gonna be an upgrade and there are plenty of upgrades that are coming with the home and this is a model so they do tend to put upgrades. But at the end, I'm gonna be talking about what the base price is and what you can expect with upgrades and whatnot. With that being said, let's go over to the backyard and see what we find. Now, if you're somebody coming from out of state, maybe you're not a Floridian, one of the most important things is to have a good space and a beautiful atmosphere in the back patio. I know a lot of people from New York come, or even up north come down to Florida and it's super important to just have that space with the family, have your barbecue going, maybe have your pool set up and really have a great space. What I love about this floor plan is you can have the indoor outdoor integration with the back patio and the living space. So if you're grilling, cooking, maybe you got the game on, whatever it is, you have the indoor outdoor integration possible. Here on this corner lot, we are gonna have a slightly different setup in lot size because the way it's just transitioned. Here, especially with this floor plan, it is a little bit longer, but they do make sure that every floor plan you can still fit at least some size pool in the backyard. Here, you would probably maybe have a you know 10 by 12 foot pool, something like that, just has to meet the property line requirements. But this is gonna be your backyard space for this specific model. You're gonna have this nice tree. They are gonna do landscaping in front and backyards. You also can put fences in this neighborhood. Um, I believe there has to be a white vinyl fence. And yes, my friend, so this is the backyard. You're gonna have a beautiful space over here as well. And that is gonna be some of the best features about this home is this corner lot. It gives you space on each end of the property. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, there is not even one family that lives in this community just yet. There are people who have purchased, but nobody has moved in yet because they are still finishing up projects, amenities, and the homes to get the final details correct. So now we're gonna go ahead, step inside, talk about the financing, and make sure you have all the information you need to know about this community and property. Come on. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the very end of the tour, and we're gonna jump right into the finances. So very first thing I want you guys to know, the purchase price of this home 
is starting at $463,000. So $463,000 is the base price for this specific model in this community. Now this home that you saw today probably had about, you know, 40 to $60,000 in upgrades and they'd go above and beyond. So if you were someone, maybe you just want to do the floor, that might be around 10 to $12,000. Maybe you want to just do the upgraded kitchen appliances, you know, four to $5,000. It all depends on you guys. But what I love is that you have the options to customize and change the way uh, that you want it. Now, a lot of times with the builders, you're going to be able to get um, some inventory homes, homes that they're already building, and you're going to get better incentives. You're also going to get, you know, some of the finishes at base price. So there are a lot of different options that you're gonna be able to do here. Um, but they do have a lot of spec homes where you do get to get a few better deals than if you just customized from the start. But they're both great options, both great prices, and both great investments. Now, second thing, the HOA is gonna be $137 per month. That's gonna include a nature trail that's gonna be maintained around this park. You're also gonna have an amenities clubhouse, pool, etc. Now, the taxes on this property is gonna be about 1.2% of the purchase price of the home. So let's go ahead and say you wanted to get in this house at base price, 462. You're gonna be looking at around $5,544 for this specific property per year in annual tax amount. Now, that is right off the bat. Let's say you lived here for a year, you moved here, you're resident, you can apply for something called Florida Homestead Tax Exemption. What that can do is deduct $50,000 off the taxable value of the home. So instead of paying taxes on a 464, 463, you're paying taxes on a 414, 413, okay? That'll, what it really looks like, it takes off about four to $700 off the taxable value of your home, depending on the year and all that good stuff, estimated tax uh, values. Now, let's go ahead and get start jumping into what a down payment would look like on a property like this and then the builder incentive. So let's say you were a first time home buyer and you wanted to purchase one of these homes. Um, you have two different options. One, you have FHA loan, which is minimum three and a half percent down. Um, and then you also have conventional, which is about 5% down uh, for primary residences. Now, first, before we get into the numbers, what's the difference between the FHA and the conventional? The FHA one, you have the lower down payment, but you have something called private mortgage insurance that you have to pay for the life of the loan. That essentially adds an extra $130 to $200 on your monthly payment. On a conventional, you only pay private mortgage insurance until you have 20% equity in the property. Now, a lot of people ask me, how do they know when you have 20% equity? Well, there are two ways. One, you could pay your, pay your mortgage up to where you have 20% equity in the home from the time from the purchase price you bought it at or if the market's going up like it is right now you can get a reappraisal on the home if it's 20 percent more and based off what the uh, loan amount is left if that's the difference is 20 percent you can take that pmi off and save yourself 130 to 200 bucks per month now what does the number actually look like for an fha loan 463 times three and a half percent, that is $16,205. On 5% with the conventional 463, that's $23,150 for the down payment. Now, when you purchase a home, um, you're always gonna have your down payment and your closing costs. Closing costs are gonna include title transfer fees, uh, county uh, transfer fees for changing the deed from one person to another. You're gonna have lender fees, maybe you're gonna be paying some points. Um, appraisal fees, inspection, credit report fees. These are all things that come into the closing costs. My goal as a realtor is one, to get you a good deal and two, try and get all your closing costs paid for. So with that being said, this builder is offering 15K flex to any buyer that decides to come uh, purchase this home. Now, my goal is to represent my buyers. I don't work for the builders. I don't work for the sellers. I work for people who call me wanting to make a good investment and I fight to get you guys an amazing deal. With that being said, what it looks like, they're offering 15K flex. I'm gonna say, hey, let's say that you wanted to force this home at 463, um, the Ashby, and you wanted to see what you can do. Essentially, what would happen is I'm gonna come in here and say, okay, perfect. Right now, they're steady on the, sturdy on the price uh, because of appraisal. They wanna keep making sure appraisal values are high. 
uh, so they can increase in the, the, the prices of the property. Two, that's actually a good thing for you guys because it'll create more equity in the home before you even move in. But what we can do, and what we can do is try and negotiate more closing costs, maybe more upgrades in the home than they are initially offering. So if they're offering 15, we're gonna say, hey, we need 25,000 because we need an extra 10,000 to drop the interest rate. Right now they just had a new hike. So right now it's a little bit more unaffordable for our clients. We need to make sure we get an extra 10,000 so we can drop the points a little bit more and create a, a more affordable monthly payment. Now you might ask, hey, isn't it better to drop the price of the home than to get clo extra closing costs? In my opinion, if, if your goal is to have a lower monthly payment, you should be looking to get more money in closing costs so you can use it to drop your, your interest rate by buying points. That's gonna make a much bigger difference than dropping the price of the home. Essentially, every $10,000 you increase or decrease in the price of the home, it's about $50 to $60 difference in your monthly payment. Um, if you're gonna be buying points, it can have a significant more effect depending on the lender using, depending if they're really paying attention to the market and really using those points on a specific day where it's gonna be the best bang for your buck. So there are a lot of different things that go into this, but first and foremost, having a real educated realtor is the most important thing for the clientele and someone purchasing a home. Now, with that being said, anybody who might be looking to invest in a growing area here in Central Florida, this could be the perfect place um, just because of the amount of appreciation. In this community, since they started, they have seen people have put houses under contract, haven't even moved in yet, and they already have $30,000 in equity. Prices have already increased $30,000 and they opened about three months ago. That's incredible growth that we've seen here in St. Not only St. Cloud, all of Central Florida, but when you have a new construction community just starting, those are the best opportunities to get in and really see your home appreciate by the time it's finished, by the time the amenity center is done, by the time they're selling the last 10, 15, 20 houses where they're really ramming up the prices. And not only that, it's the location that makes this place so desirable. With that, my friends, I'm going to leave everything on the table. This is all I have for you guys. And I hope this was great information. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to go back into my other videos. We have a, we give a bunch of different cities, communities, homes, and a lot of financial information as well at the end of each tour. So if you do like this, go back to some other videos, take a look, and let me know what you think. Also, one last thing, um, and then maybe this is a little bit more too personal. What do you guys think? For anybody who's returning, returning viewers, what do you think about the mustache? You know, my girlfriend is threatening to that one day I'll wake up without a mustache and I've never done this, so I've been growing it out. So let me know what you guys think I should do. Um, I don't think I can grow a beard, but at least get like the little, you know, twizzly mustache going. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.